everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this quick and easy cowl. This free written crochet pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and uh, the direct link is there available for you in the notes for this video. This is the quick and easy cowl. It is an infinity cowl so it measures about 60 inches uh, in circumference and uh, it's about 11 inches wide. So this is the pattern that you see here. It is worked using three balls of this Boing yarn by Lion Brand and this is a fun yarn. I'm not sure if you can quite see it here in this video um, but it has quite a bit of stretch to it. So it gives you kind of a fun texture to work with. Your cowl ends up being super, super stretchy and snuggly, uh, which I have come to love. It's a 94% acrylic and 5% polyester. And then there's 1% of other fibers there. So you're going to need three balls of this yarn. It is a bulky weight yarn. So if you're looking to substitute, I would uh, find another bulky weight yarn and one that is thinner. So you don't want a super bulky weight but uh, just a thinner bulky weight yarn. You're going to need uh, three balls so uh, it's just a little under 300 yards of a bulky weight yarn. You're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and of course the written pattern. This cowl works up very quick and very uh, very easy once you get a hang of the pattern. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using the color of uh, opal in the blank yarn. So grab your hook and your yarn and uh, let's get started. So thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new to my channel or haven't already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. For our cowl today, we're going to start by making a slip knot. And you're then going to start by making a foundation chain of 184 stitches. Once you have your starting chain complete, you are going to join with a slip stitch into that first chain, being careful not to twist the chain. So into that first chain stitch, join with a slip stitch. We're now going to start the first round of our pattern. You're going to start by making a beginning triple cluster. To work the beginning triple cluster, you're going to chain three, Then you're going to yarn over twice, skip the next four chains, which they can be challenging to see in this yarn. So you just have to kind of pull it apart in places. So you're going to skip one, two, three, four chains. And then into that next chain, you're going to work, uh, you're going to insert your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw up a loop. yarn over and pull through two loops twice and then yarn over and pull through the final loops on your hook. That is your beginning cluster. You're then going to chain four and work a triple stitch into the same chain as the last leg of that last cluster. So a triple stitch into that same chain. You are now going to work a, another triple cluster. This time you're going to work the first half into the next chain, then skip four chains and work the second half. So to work your full triple cluster you're going to yarn over twice, Insert your hook into the next chain. 
yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops twice. You're then going to yarn over twice once more, skip four chains, one, two, three, four, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to yarn over and pull through two loops twice. You'll have three loops left on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those remaining three loops. That is your triple cluster. Next, chain four. And you're going to repeat. Triple crochet into the same stitch as the last part of your last cluster. And now work a triple cluster uh, into starting in the next chain. So yarn over twice, into the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops twice. That's your first part of the cluster. Then yarn over twice, skip four chains, one, two, three, four, into that next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops twice, three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then repeat again, chain four. So you are going to repeat that all the way around. And once you reach your final few stitches, meet me back here and I will show you how to uh, join in your first stitch. So as you come to an end on round four, you're going to end on your chain four. You're then going to work a triple stitch into the same stitch as the last part of your cluster. And you're then going to join at the top of the triple stitch and chain three, so that beginning cluster, you're just going to join at the top of your beginning cluster with a slip stitch. You're then going to chain four, which counts as a triple stitch, and turn your work. You're now ready to begin round two. For round two, you're going to start off by working a cluster stitch, in starting the cluster in the next stitch, in the top of the next, Skip the chain four space and complete your cluster in the top of the next triple. Chain four, triple into the same stitch as the last part of your last cluster. And you're now going to repeat cluster stitch starting in the next stitch skip that chain four space work the second part of your cluster in the next stitch yarn over pull through all three chain four and triple in the same stitch as your last stitch you're going to continue working that all the way around then meet me back here and I will show you once again how to join at the end of round two. As you come to the end of your round two, you're going to complete your final cluster. You're 
You're then going to chain four. And then slip stitch into the top of your starting chain four. And that brings you to the end of your round two. You're then going to chain four and turn your work. Now for the rest of your cowl, you're simply going to repeat that round two. So you've chained four, you're going to start with a cluster stitch, working the first into the top of the next stitch, skipping that chain four space, and the final leg of the cluster in that next stitch, chain four, triple into the same stitch as the last part of your last cluster, and then repeat. Cluster stitch starting in the top of the next stitch, skip the chain four space, complete your cluster, chain four, and triple into the same stitch as the last part of your cluster. So repeat that all the way around. You're going to repeat that round two uh, for a total of nine more rounds. So your cowl will have a total of 11 rounds. And uh, as you can see, you'll have this design uh, going throughout. And then that's all there is. Join at the top of your chain four, fasten off, weave in your ends, and you will have a wonderful, uh, very squishy and soft cowl. So thank you so much for joining me and again I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.